The best way to describe what I do with music is that I make musical paintings. Now there are many ways to engage in music and the most obvious of course is listening. But you need somebody to make the music for people to listen to, which is kind of the next layer of the experience. And that might be anything from practicing in your bedroom to singing around the campfire to the far end of the scale where you might find an orchestra of many people playing in front of a large audience or a large rock and roll show that takes trucks worth of equipment to pull off. Um, the thing about these is that this is all performance based and because they are performances they all happen in the moment. Uh, what I do doesn't happen in the moment in its entirety. And that's why I've chosen to call it musical paintings, because in the same way that a painter may return to a spot day after day to build up a painting layer by layer, I do the same thing recording music. Now, I do play everything, and therefore some of this definitely takes place in the moment, but because I do it piece by piece, it may take days or weeks or months. Now, you can write music completely out of real time, and that would be in the case of somebody with a computer entering notes one at a time, and then asking the computer to play it back, and depending on what figure files it triggers, it might be, you know, the sound of a few flute or a piano or whatnot after the fact. And it's easy to kind of condemn that as being artificial, but the truth is, is music has been written in this fashion for years, if not hundreds of years, uh, in the form of written notation. People have written music with a piece of paper and a pen, jotting down notes in the same way that you might program a computer and then say, play this file. These people will write on a piece of paper and then hand it to an orchestra and say, reproduce my work. Anyway, musical paintings, getting back to that idea, that is the way I work. And the truth of the matter is, I do this because I really don't have any choice. I would have preferred to be a performer, and that was my initial goal. I, I would like to be at this point retiring from a 40-year lo long career with my high school buddies where we traveled the world and became famous, but that's not exactly how my life worked out. When I was in my early 20s, and I was just bumbling around getting nowhere, I said, hey, what do we want to do with life, really? And that was to play guitar. I always loved doing that. So I figured out a plan that would take me years to enact and then started practicing and building a repertoire. The problem with this plan is that I practice obsessively. And when things started to ache, I thought to myself, well, if I want to get anywhere, I can't let a little ache get my way. And when things started to hurt, I had the same attitude and plowed on. When things became excruciating, though, I had to stop. I ended up stop playing for over three years because of a tendonitis injury that I developed. Now, to put this in perspective, I could not open a door with my left hand. I could not pick a pot off of a stove. You really have to go through this to understand how bad it can get. Now, thankfully for me that the age of the computer came around, and then I could, for, you know, a few thousand dollars, put together a recording studio that, you know, back in the 80s would have cost hundreds of thousands of dollars. And I would have had to pay hundreds of dollars an hour to record what I do, which would have made making music in the fashion that I do completely unfeasible economically. But now I can go downstairs where I've set up my little studio and then part by part work on the stuff. Because, alas, my tendonitis still exists today, some 36 years later. And on a really good day, an exceptional day, maybe I can play 45 minutes. On a regular day, probably 20 at the most. And some days I can barely get started before things start to act up and I have to stop. So, musical paintings is what I do, one piece at a time, 
maybe just a few measures one day and then work on that and then a different day work on a different part and then over days or weeks or months I can put together a full piece of music and continue to write and engage in what I love doing, which is writing music. Anyway, I thought what I would do is I would make a series of videos as I write a new song and show you what I do piece by piece as I go along. Um, hopefully you'll join me for the ride. See ya.